We've done quite a bit of talking about Grand Theft Auto 6 on this channel, and the more news keeps rolling out, the more we're going to keep covering it, and we're going to ride that hype train, because as much as people are trying to deny it, this is going to be the biggest game launch of all time. It is. GTA 5 managed to sell over 11 million copies in 24 hours, and as of September, over 185 million copies have been sold. It makes it the second best-selling game of all time, only behind Minecraft. So the closer we get to the reveal of GTA 6, the more leaks come out about what we're actually going to be getting. And unsurprisingly, some new alleged details have been making their way around the internet recently. So this video, we're going to go over everything that's new that's come out about GTA 6. And I'll let you guys decide in the comments how much you actually believe. So every few weeks, a new leak screenshot from the game comes out. And they tend to either be from the initial big GTA 6 leak dump that we got a while back. Or they're brand new screenshots that the internet has to figure out the legitimacy of. But regardless of how you feel about all the leaked GTA 6 screenshots, a new one started making the rounds just the other day, and it seemingly confirmed a real-world Florida landmark for the upcoming game. Now, as you know, Rockstar loves to parody real-life landmarks in their GTA games, and there are countless examples. I mean, tons of Southern California landmarks are recreated on the GTA 5 map. Tons of New York landmarks are recreated on the GTA 4 map. You guys get the idea. So naturally, with GTA 6 taking place in a parody version of Florida... We can expect several Florida landmarks that get their own GTA versions, and one of these landmarks seems to be, uh, before we get into it, if you get anything from G2A.com, use code CHAOS. Get yourself some cash back, whether you're getting Steam codes, new PC games, whatever it may be. The link is at the top of the description. So this, this one, this screenshot, seems to be the Sebring International Raceway. A leaked screenshot shows a racetrack that looks eerily similar to the Sebring Raceway, which is a major landmark in Florida. It's roughly a three and a half hour drive from Miami, so obviously Rockstar is likely going to take some creative liberties to make it a tad closer to the main city, but the real life Sebring Raceway is a very important part of Florida. It's been in operation for over 70 years. It was even a training base during World War II. So if Rockstar is looking to recreate all the important Florida landmarks, I have no trouble believing they're going to be putting the Sebring International Raceway in there. Again, they'll take creative liberties with its placement compared to Miami or Vice City, but I would put my money on it that it's going to be in the game. Now, in addition to the Sebring Raceway screenshot, eh, there's also another map leak that started circulating Reddit a few days ago. It seemed to confirm at least part of the game's scale in the scope, both of which are ridiculous. Now, the original Reddit post was removed for obvious reasons, but assuming the screenshot was legit, which it might have been because it was taken down, that kind of proves the legitimacy. The ridiculous draw distance confirmed that the map is going to be insanely big, and assuming it gets up and running with minimal issues, it should be a massive technical achievement. The amount of the populated game area on screen at once was unlike anything we've ever gotten in a Rockstar game before, and this screenshot seemed to confirm previous reports that the game's map is going to expand far beyond just the main city. So in case you missed it, let me catch you up. Some leaks have claimed that the GTA 6 map is going to feature multiple major metropolitan areas, as well as a number of smaller, less populated areas between them. And in this screenshot, that seemed to be confirmed. Having multiple major cities in GTA 6 is going to be insane. I can't wait to see how Rockstar differentiates the various playable areas from one another. I'm also kind of eager to see what the various locations are based off of. We know Vice City is going to be based on Miami. What about the other locations? What real-world Florida locations are they going to pull influence from? What real-world Florida locations do you want to go visit? Well, time will tell. But rest assured, this game's map is going to be massive and far more populated than anything Rockstar has ever put out before. Now, interestingly, Grand Theft Auto's 10th birthday came and went last week. Happy birthday! Rockstar was quiet about it. The game came out on September 17th of 2013. I think a lot of people, myself included... We're expecting Rockstar to tease the next chapter of this franchise on the 10-year anniversary, but as you noticed, nothing happened. Rockstar Games did post a thread on Twitter or X reflecting on the launch of GTA 5 and the growth over the years. They wrote, Today, on the official 10th anniversary of Grand Theft Auto 5, we would like to thank you, our players, for your incredible support over the years. This amazing community is the reason GTA 5 has thrived across multiple console generations and given us the opportunity to grow and update GTA Online with new features and content over the last decade. And your support is truly humbling. Massive thank you to anyone who's ever played, streamed, role-played, created, or shared from the world of Los Santos and Blaine County. Here's to many more adventures together. 
Now, Rockstar also released a set of outfits in online inspired by the three protagonists of the campaign alongside some in-game bonuses. You got quad rewards in certain missions, but when it actually comes to news about the future of the series, we were out of luck. The Twitter community wasn't happy about the store update, with many people vocally frustrated at the lack of GTA 6. I mean, I get the annoyance. The community is the reason why a 10-year-old game like GTA 5 is still one of the biggest games in the world after a year after a year. So you can imagine that the members of the community probably feel their constant support should be worth something in regards to the future of the franchise, right? Well, sadly, no official GTA 6 news yet. At least not not ponied up with the GTA 5 anniversary like a lot of us thought was going to be happening. But with all that being said, I'm sure at least one of you have seen the tweets claiming there's actually, well, there actually was a GTA 6 teaser re released in the GTA 5 anniversary, so let me touch on it. The promotional image for the most recent GTA Online update was meant to be a callback to one of the promos for GTA 5, the one that you've all seen that has the three main characters walking towards the camera with the bridge behind them. Rockstar posted a promo to social media that had some online characters recreating this GTA 5 promo shot, but with a few minor changes that some players believe could be the teaser to the next game. So in the new version of the image, there's an airplane that was not in the original, as well as a telephone pole that looks like six in the Roman numerals on the side. Now, some online have taken this as a subtle hint. The GTA 6 news is going to come flying into the internet soon, but I'm honestly not sure what to make of it. On one hand... Rockstar totally could have put the six-shaped telephone pole in there on purpose as a way to generate buzz for GTA 6 because they know the sleuths on the internet will absolutely just tear apart anything and micro-analyze it, right? But at the end of the day, if they wanted to give us GTA 6 news, they would have. Rockstar had the perfect opportunity to show off some GTA 6 news and they chose not to. It's also entirely possible this telephone pole looks like a six completely by coincidence. And this is just another case of the internet being too eager for GTA 6 news. That's never happened before. But even if the telephone pole really was supposed to look like a 6 and Rockstar did it completely on purpose, that's probably just because they want people talking about the game and not because they have something specific that they want to show off. Buzz is a good thing, always. And Rockstar is the master of buzz at keeping people talking about their games years before they launch. So personally, I think this six shaped telephone pole was on purpose but it's not actually indicative of anything happening. Rather, it was just a subtle nod to the existence that we already knew of GTA 6 that Rockstar is uh, using to make sure people don't forget about it like they would, right? I mean, come on. There you go. That's what we have so far. Size and scope off the freaking charts. The Sebring International Raceway, very cool focus point for Florida. What other Florida points do you want in GTA 6? I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you soon.